So good morning people. I, I've had some questions to ask Gareth of a subscriber. Let's look at his face. So I've, asked, I've, I've had a subscriber get in touch and um, this subscriber, let me open my chat, would like to ask you a couple of questions. So this lovely subscriber, <coughs> Mr Kevin Pugh. Who? Kevin Pugh. Oh right. <laughs> Would like to know honestly, you have to answer honestly. Yeah. Do you know which of the sons took a picture on their mum's camera of a poop in the toilet that she had to go there and get developed? Do you know which one of the sons did that? Yoruff, I think. <laughs> Grass in him out there? It was Tyron. <laughs> what was it? I knew that one. It was. I didn't know I'll glass him in Joyce. Also, this is the main question that Mr. Kevin Pure would like to you to Don't answer. Photos developed now. So yeah, but it was years ago. They just never knew who did it. Oh well, I never hired a room that it got done. All oh, right. So, can you also ask Gareth? We was just having a conversation at work, and Kevin Pure would like to know: Does donkey dick get harder as you chew it more? <laughs> so I went, and this is a genuine question I come from on my messenger. Yeah, from our lovely subscriber is. Kevin Pugh. Yeah, I know it is, Dad. <laughs> I'll tell you the story. Mm. We went to France. No, we was going to Spain on the motorbikes. My dad had a, um, a Bandit twelve hundred, and I had an R one. Weren't you going to Italy? went to Italy, Spain, we went all over on the muck bikes, we went on a tour around Europe. So because my dad spoke French, because he went mm. for some lessons, we went into this stopover, it was like, well it's the airs basically on the motorways, um, and basically he ordered something and I didn't have a clue about French, so he ordered a meal for me, and it looked like a nice breakfast. Anyway, I'm eating this breakfast and uh, everything was nice except the sausage it were really really grisly and i'm chewing it and chewing it and chewing it i said dad i can't eat this sausage it's rank <laughs> he went that's fine son mm -hmm. he says i knew what it was it was a donkey dick <laughs> well, what But yeah, so that was um, the questions. Of and I've never been back abroad with my dad since. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Thanks for the embarrassing questions, Kev. You keep that up, my love. Um, any other subscriber I'd like to ask God if any embarrassing questions? I've got one I'd like you could answer. What? What age did you stop wearing terry towel and nappies for bed? <laughs> I was fifteen, I think. Mm. <laughs> Kev dropped that picture to me so I could put it in my video. <laughs> <laughs> Bedwetters are us here. Yeah. <laughs> you better inbox my dad so we can insert it into the vlog. Yeah. And if my dad does send me it, the picture will be here now with <laughs> me wearing terror toweling nappings at, at 15. 15. <laughs> <laughs> and if he don't send it, we do put it in. Yeah. So yeah, that was um Yeah, they're quite embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> Should that's genuinely that's what he asked me so we have some embarrassing questions about you no none of my parents messaged you no but i know some ones my parents didn't message so no so this clown here it's just informed me i can't go away weekend because i've got a frozen caliper yeah. and it expects me to go to work when i'm in a mood fuming now i've got to find something different to do this weekend now but on the plus side if there's something wrong with your van people get it fixed straight away especially if you live in it and you're using it all the time wounded so I'm not yet whistling this weekend, guys. Although, bit time this video's out, you're about three weeks behind, so you'll have already done. Sorry, guys. Hope you had a good weekend. That'd be hard, silly people. Gotta see which way the wind's coming, look. Because for whatever reason, the wind turbines have not been turned on for weeks. So seeing if it needs to be part of this side or the other. 
Which way is wind coming? Huh? Which way is wind coming? Up sky. Which way, I said, not where. Why are you vlogging at work again? Why not? We don't have vlog at work. No, I'm just vlogging in general. I'm trying to, I, I'm going to try and get as many vlogs out as I can. A week. One every day? Well, I don't think I'll manage one every day, but... boring every day. We've got no travelling or nothing. Yeah, we have. I'm travelling to work. <laughs> oh, my God. Isn't it boring seeing that every day? No, I'm not going to vlog at work, but I got quite a bit of footages today. You even got a bloke arguing, screaming at a traffic warden on my camera. So I'm just going to carry my camera in to see how interesting. Um, so, are we moving the van or...? That wind, yeah. look, that wind looks like it's coming We're right moving, ours. man. Back home. No point. I'm meant to be away this weekend. My calipers froze on the front left-hand side of my motor home. I'm a bit gutted. But I'm going to find something else to do this weekend then. Something local. Oh, he's definitely starting here. I can hear him doing Jenny. Bit rude. So, yeah. I'm just going to vlog as and when people. See what I get. So... Look at me, sat in my nice warm van, not attempting to get out and go set everything up because the car be bothered. Do you want a job? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I want to be a professional vlogger. <laughs> it's an easy job. It's not actually, but it is. So, yeah, now I'm going to work, see in a bit. Sitting in my favourite spot, chilling. Hello, hello. Can I do this cooking? Prepping. Yeah. I'm just chilling out. I'm gonna have a nice cup of tea. <laughs> so I've just had some visitors come to my van. Say Hi. hello. Hiya. Hi. Hi. Hey, just find his chair. I'm Michelle. I'm Neil. <laughs> Get on over. Give them a like and a subscribe. They've just come for a stabber, aren't you? Yeah. Right, just calling fast on my own. We own now. Unlucky. We need a blend. So, yeah, yeah, they've just come to see us at the boy van. <laughs> Get on over. I'm going to put it on my door later. <laughs> so I won't come too close, they're going to have to moan at me. <laughs> Good job, I bought my camera and you told me not to bring my camera today. You don't bring it, they've been now, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot be good old British weather. It's blowing a gale and it's absolutely chucking it down. As you can see on my screen. <laughs> so I'm going shopping Gareth's been complaining for days we've got no food <laughs> better go shopping Anna so I'm back from doing my shopping no point taking you with me it was too windy, too rainy <laughs> morning campers I'm somewhere different today I'm not in my lay -by. I'm going to um, Driffield Market so I'm going to take you with me just in case <laughs> something exciting happens it looks like at 5 past 6 a.m. There's nothing here. <laughs> They're setting it up. Because I'm going to walk around the market and show you later if I'm not mega busy anyway. There we go. There's nobody here. Can't not have to smoke there. There's no smoking sign outside here. <laughs> Don't know why there's no smoking sign outside. Like. I think you should put a Pules on Toast sticker next to it. <laughs> we was too busy to show you market today. Although I'm filming my Gareth because there's a little baker there. And I was going to get myself, a tr as a treat, because I've been real good, a chocolate toffee danish. And he says, wait while we go home. And they've sold out. Filming. <laughs> oh, I'm a bit stressed out today. So we need to move. I've run out of water. Mm, my motor. Though we're on site. You dirty bitch! I'm going to have to move my pots. I don't like doing that. I like everything to be pristine when we move. But I've got an appointment in the garage. So I do need to move, otherwise I'm going to be late. So I'm just going to have to pack it down and um, travel with mucky pots, I'm afraid, today, people. So stop one, Beverly. Um, and look for some pain. I'm not recording about the van getting fixed because Gareth's recording that, people. So um, I want to look for some pain for my buddy van. I'm going to paint it really. Surprising colour, wait till y'all see it. But we're gonna go look at the paint today while this is getting sorted. But you'll hear about that from Gareth at some point. <laughs> I've 
that's a right old Ford Escort. That was a right cool car on it, love. Did it mind you of being a kid? <laughs> so I'm sat in the garage and the bloke's putting something in the front engine of this car right? and then it's blowing foam out of his exhaust. <laughs> I've never seen out like it. You see it? <laughs> it's coming again. It's going like water now. So, if anybody knows what that is, let me know in the comments because they have no clue what they're doing. <laughs> Even Gareth doesn't know what they're doing. So much foam come out in the end. <laughs> and she's going in for fixing. Like I said, I think Gareth's recording that. Hopefully he is, he told me not to, so I'm guessing he is. Are you recording that? <laughs> Hi baby! And now I've got no to do. I have to have a sandwich though before I got out. There's no round here, we're in the middle of nowhere. No one would fit her in because she want to know where it's big enough. I think these aren't even got big enough ramps, so just going to jack her up. So, yeah. I won't vlog it, because Gareth told me not to. Look about. There's nothing here. And it's about three miles from town centre, so I'm not walking that because I'm lazy. But he'd a butty van up here, Gareth. It's a gymnastics, a plumbers, car parts. I thought that's a carpet, so we could have had a look for the carpet. I need no carpet for my motorhome. I don't need one, I want one. Creaming's not a good colour for the carpet for the motorhome, is it, love? Definitely getting a darker carpet this year. Right car, don't want a car. Just a boring <coughs> bit of vlog. Wait, well, we're back in van. <laughs> oh, it's itched up now because it looks like he's leaning. He jacked it up. This unit, you've got one, two, three, four car garages, repair garages right next to each other, and MOT stations. <laughs> MOT and Diagnostics, Repairs, MOT. This one does MOT, does this one do MOT? No, this is Repair Clutch Specialists. Four in one place? That's crazy, and they're all busy. What is that? Is that an ice cream van? No, it's full. It's a bake truck. It's like an ice cream van. And the geezer who's just making my husband cry. Um, it's like it's a lunch truck. I was like, is it? Let me go see what they do. <laughs> That's quite cool, actually. It does pastry, sweets, bits, good sandwiches, salad, snacks. Oh, let's see if I can get a brew. It doesn't do brews, but I did get Gareth a hot chilli scotch egg homemade. Fields Butchers. It says it, they go around all the industrial estate. It's quite cool. Got myself a drink, though. Um, I walked off because I kind of wasn't happy. But he did ask me not to record. Don't know why. He's not a happy bunny. I think this might be an expensive job. I know he's not happy. <laughs> so I'm going to turn you off before I go over and tell him I got him a chilli homemade scotch egg because I'm a nice wife. I look human. Hey, Pews on Tour YouTube family. If you're loving the content, here's a quick reminder to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment. Your support means the world to us. So I'm going for a walk around Beverly. Or well, I walk into Beverly because I'm about three miles outside of it. And it's going to take hours. So we're going to go find some water. I'll have a brew out with love. Yeah. I feel a bit lost without my house. <laughs> I've added the old man. So we've got the soldier, Florence Nightingale, I'm guessing that is. And that's um, the old man that raised all the money during lockdown. I can't think of his name. That's definitely him. That's beautiful, that. What a really nice tribute. I'll look up his name and Gareth will drop it in here. Well, this is St Nicholas in Beverly. Um, it's the less common known of the three. Because it's a uh, C of A, it's not Catholic. But this is all the Commonwealth war graves that they have in the area. Um, clearly they're renovating the tower. Looks like a nice little church to be fair. 
Okay, so what was the wrong way? I'm sweating over that far. <laughs> That's where we are in Beverly. And there's no death meant to anybody. But this is definitely the council estate park because it sinks the weed. <laughs> oh well. Gareth, we're on foot, not in a car. Do you know what he's been doing all this time? He's been directing me, following the no entry signs. He's on foot. You're on foot, love. Oh, someone's spilt paint. And then they've sort of rinsed it. But if you can see on that one, it's on about 10 cars wheels. They're all gonna come home and be raging. <laughs> Oopsie. So I told him it was the other street and he said, no, it's this one. What a coincidence, we didn't end up in Beverly, we ended up at Fleming Gate. Where his two favourite restaurants are. Tomahawk Steakhouse. Esther Bublio. And where one of my favourite shops is, Poundland. <laughs> so, I've got a Costa coffee. I'm not supposed to have coffee because of my cluster headaches or chocolate. So what I'm going to try, because I haven't had an headache in two days, I'm going to try a decaf coffee. Yes. To see if I get an headache. And I'm, fingers crossed, I can have that coffee. This is the last straw, and then it's only tea. So, uh, Mr. Pugh, yeah. do you know when I said earlier I'm going to go up this street to take me to Beverly Centre, and you said, no, it's this one? Yeah. This is not Beverly Centre. This is Fleming, this is Fleming yeah. yeah. Is it a coincidence that you brought me to where you want to eat dinner, by any chance? No. It's, it's got both of your favourite restaurants in this area. I've got time for a restaurant, yeah. <laughs> I don't think we have, to be fair. We don't get enough buyer coffees and super thanks to go to restaurants. <laughs> Not with, um, we've got to save us pennies and repair us van. <laughs> oh, that tastes different. It's probably because there's it no coffee in it. It tastes as strong as that. Well, they won't taste no strong. There's no coffee in it, it's decaffeinated. How can you have a coffee? It's got, no, it's got coffee. coffee, it's no caffeine in it. Uh, so I've taken all the caffeine out. Tastes like milk. You could have had Earl Grey. No, I get that in the morning. They don't do Yorkshire tea in Costa, unfortunately. Can't be a Yorkshire tea bag. Not like that Lipton crap you bought. I love Lipton tea. You used to love it as well, don't lie. So I went I, all the way, found three boxes. Don't like it anymore. What's that about? Good old Yorkshire tea. <laughs> but I am going to have my caffeinated caramel latte. <laughs> Because mine's got coffee in it. What's your favourite tea? Put it in common. Yorkshire, it's got to be. And if anybody puts Thai food, put yourself straight in the bin. Well, if you're one of the two lads that we've just met in um, Fleming Gate, hi lads. Hope you enjoy the Benadorm videos. The old man in this red, in this coat with a red hood. Can I going to zoom in? You threw that cup on the floor. There's a bin there. If I could have named and shamed your face, I would have done. You scruffy old tramp. A bit of time to kill. Pamline's behind us. Get off. Right, so Pamline's behind us. So, because Pamland, not actually Pamland anymore, is it? Yeah, it says Pamland. So I'm going to challenge you now. Yeah. So we're going to go in Pamland. Yeah. You're going to buy two things you think I like. Yeah. For a pound each. Yeah. You can't spend more than two quid for yeah. two items. Yeah. And I'll do the same for you. And because Easter's coming up, it has to be Easter related. So you have to get me two Easter items for two quid? Yeah. And I have to get you two Easter items for two it quid? It says Poundland. Two what? Any item, a pound. All right. So I'm down for this challenge. So that's what we're going to do after we've had this coffee. We're going to go in Poundland and see if we can get each other items. Two items each for Easter. And happy Easter. <laughs> I don't even know when Easter is, actually. So I'm just going in Poundland now for my challenge. Are you ready? Two items. Yeah. Pound each for Easter. OK. There ain't much in here. Oh, yeah. Two items and I've got change. Show me what you settled on to get me then. Because you want down the Easter aisle, you. I did mine for £1.80. Do you know I did mine for £1.80? How weird. It's my turn to talk. I'm just letting you know that was a coincidence. Go on then. So, item number one. I got you. 
some <laughs> reusable ice cubes. I wanted them. So, but, well, you can't do them because you're the bottom, aren't you? So basically, you put them in the freezer, put them in your drink, and when you finish, put them back in the freezer. Can't you say? They're, they're not Easter related. Yes, it is. Are you going to be having wine for, Christ for, for Christmas? For Easter? Possibly. Well, it's related then, isn't it? <laughs> you found a loophole there, love. I am number one done. I actually really wanted that. So, <laughs> what's your item number one? My item number one is... Bunny marshmallows. Well, that is Easter related, isn't it, it's bunnies? It's Easter related, didn't you like marshmallows? How yeah, much of them? Oh. A quid. So there is stuff in there for a quid then, isn't there? Yes, not a lot though, I'm not going to lie. Did it a lot yeah. of stuff for the pound in the pound shop. Uh, but yeah, I got you them. I'm buzzing with them, I really wanted some of them. <laughs> I've been on about for ages, but they're not Easter related. Yeah, they are. It's for wine. Mm. Item number two. You're going to like this one. I got you. A bottle of fairy liquid. Are you taking piss? Why? How is that Easter related? Well, when you've cooked Easter dinner, you're going to need this, aren't you? So you will need this for Easter. I feel like you're just trying to find a way to get around the loophole of the fact that, you, you, that you've got no Easter. I have. And how much was that? That was a pound. That was a pound. No, it won. Yes, it was. A very watching up liquid. A pound. That was a bag. <laughs> I'm it not going to lie. 320 mil. A pound. All right, that, that's a bargain. And by the way, these reusable ice cubes I got on for Easter, birthdays, Christmas. <laughs> so let's see what your item number two is then, eh? <laughs> well, it, it was meant to be for Easter. That was the challenge. That is for Easter. You set the challenge. Yeah, they are both for Easter. I guarantee on Easter you will be using them items. <laughs> so, what's your item number two? An Easter sticker for the window in the van. That is not for me, is it? Yeah, I, I think. Put it on your window in the van. I think you bought that for yourself. No, it's to go on your window in the van. So at Christmas, she bought the stickers for the motorhome again for the windows, didn't she? Some silly Christmas trees. And what's she done now? It's not silly. It's an Easter decoration. But that's for you, not me. It's not for me. It's I'm going to put it on your window. Not blocking my view. Well, yes, yours. I think you'll fail the challenge. No. Easter stuff. Mum, that's Easter. It is Easter. Right in. Washing up. <laughs> and wine. I really like these. And I can't... Uh, did you really, really pay to pay for it? I can't get yeah. on my reading glasses. They're a bargain. Yeah, receipts, aren't they? A lot of really 80p. So, that's really good, because you've got some Ooh, stuff Oh, that wind's getting need. up. But I was the one who got the Easter stuff. Yeah. Well, first of all, then, if you want it, if you're not like that argue toss over it that is for the window what you wanted and I'm allergic to sugar so I can't have them either can I so, I bet you eat them don't lie I will anyway even though I'm allergic to it but yeah right I'll have them so I won no you didn't I did £1.80 I won so I need you to put in the comments who won the challenge Trish or Gareth or neither Get coming in. I bought Easter stuff. You literally bought something that we can use all the time, which I know is good, and me washing up liquid so I can wash up. Shut up, love. You're useless. You're lost. Loser! You're a loser! Are you feeling sorry for yourself? I've just noticed. So we've got the burger van, which is fat pigs. So she's bought herself a bag. So why buy a pepper pig bag? I've got to walk down the road with her now. What's wrong with pepper pig? I see a pig every day. So do I. I'm looking at one right now. I bought it in homage. We've had that many grandkids, grandgirls, granddaughters bought. So, because you bought a bag, did you go over your uh, two pounds? No, because that wasn't for the competition. That was just to carry the stuff for the competition. I also bought other things as well, so... <laughs> 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 I didn't only spend two pounds in Poundland. For our competition, I did. Fails. <laughs> oh, better get in the comments and tell him he's wrong. So, um, I'm going to have a look about. We'll see what's down here. Oh, this sports direct. Oh, Gareth definitely needs some new trackies. So let's go and have a look in there. 
Um, see what else is down here. I'm sure I can see a Greg's down there. And had a beef and vegetable pasty in ages. Look at the prices Gareth has in the travel shop in Beverly. I'm just going to give you a tip here. Who ate all the pies? Who ate all... <laughs> you fat butt. You're in Beverly. It's an affluent area. Get in your car, drive to Branzome, go to Branzome Travel Agents. The holidays are at least 200 quid cheaper per person. Because it's poor. <laughs> Get off, we're going to go in Sports Direct because you need new tracky bots, mate. You don't need Oh, there's pulling your bush. <laughs> to Care Care Bears, I'm on special offer. I love Care Bears. Who don't love a Care Bear? Ah. Just in JD, so Sports Direct, somewhere like that. Sports Direct, I mean, not JD. And um, let's see if we've got to get out the door properly. He did, he pushed. And I'm just in JD, and I was just at uh, Sports Direct. I was just looking at some swimming costumes, weren't they? Yeah. Girls, why are you putting your arm sandwiches in cosies like that? Not being funny, it would not fit in. My arm sandwich would absolutely not fit in none of them cosies. Who ate all the pies? Who ate all the... You fat butt. How sad he looks. He's got he his favourite shop shut. Sure. <laughs> B&M bottom out, didn't they? He did like a will cause. Fetching bag there, Gareth. Yeah. So, we're back where the van is. I've just walked back, it took me 10 hours. Well, look at this though, just round the back, I've just come up to sit next to this, this for chill out. Excuse the motorway traffic. Oh, look at that. And that willow in the water is amazing. We always drive over this on the overpass. <laughs> Beautiful in Beverly. Isn't it nice in Beverly? You've never been down here, have you? No. Look at the size of that barge down there. Yeah. Do a flip. <laughs> Jump in. Look at him, he's like, I could park up over there. I know exactly what you're thinking, but on a night with that traffic going over at motorway. No, overpass, know. whatever it is. I'm thinking of motorway park, parking and magnet fishing. <gasps> Go get my magnet fisher out of the van. It could do that now. My van's up right over there. <laughs> I'm gonna sit down for 10 minutes. I'm knackered. It's a right walk from Beverly back down here. <laughs> Chilling out on that bench with Farry. Can you see him? And I've seen this from a distance. So I come and checked without my camera. Because I ain't got my reading glasses. Sorry about the wind. But I come and I stood opposite it and I can see it. Can you see it? Let me show you it properly. Wow. If you live in Beverly, right, and you did this, this is sick. So if you're in Beverly and you did that, well done. It is amazing. So, the man's just come after four and a half hours. <laughs> it's drivable, I could get in it. Anyway, can you go home straight away and get you another van and bring it back? Fantastic.